Hi, it's Morgan. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another story time with Morgan video. It's been a while since I've done one of these just really casual sit down and tell you stories videos, um, which are actually, it's kind of sad because that's my favorite kind of video to do. I did one about like creepy and awkward convention stories in the past, but now I'm going to do one on like some of my favorite convention stories because for the most part, cons are a really warm and welcoming environment and I really enjoy going and I laugh a lot and I take a lot of pictures and I just have a really good fun time. My favorite convention story, I feel like I've mentioned this before, I must have one moment that just always makes me laugh. Let me let my cat in and I'll tell you. Anyway. Gotta make an appearance. He's like, I hear the film. The fans wanna see me. You think people watch the video for you, Morgan? They just watch it for me. So one of my favorite convention moments that always makes me laugh when I replay this in my mind is when my sister ran into Dr. Doom. And by ran into Dr. Doom, I mean, she was talking to me and she ran off to do something, ran smack into this guy that was dressed as Dr. Doom that was like 10 feet tall. Like he must've been on stilts cause he was huge. He might've been like seven or eight feet tall. So it could have just been a tall person, but like this unbelievably tall and menacing Dr. Doom. And my sister, like she doesn't even look up and realize that it's Dr. Doom. She's just like, sorry. And she keeps running and you know, like the, it, he had the full mask or she, whoever the person was that was in there they had a full mask and they just looked very intimidating. And I was like, mm. it was so funny, but it was one of those things that you kind of had to be there for. MCM London was an amazing con. And I did that when I was living over there, so it wasn't too expensive, but I definitely want to go back. The problem is that it is usually Halloween weekend or the same weekend as Animazement, and those two weekends are like very important to me. The timing is just terrible because I have to give up one of my favorite two weekends to go to another con, which is also amazing, but costs a lot more money. So that's why I don't go so often. I loved going to that con because me and two of my friends from school went as hobbits and we did female versions. Since I was like five years old, I loved Frodo and I always wanted to cosplay Frodo at some point, but I just had never done it. And I don't know why I hadn't. Just the fact that we went and we did that meant so much to me. And then when we were there, there were people that were like, oh, come to the photo shoot. So we went to like a Tolkien photo shoot and everyone was so nice and friendly and they brought like brownies and snacks and we all just sat around and chatted and it was it was very Hobbit-like. They were amazing, they gave us snacks. But I actually met some really cool friends from that and then I did like this whole cosplay adventure with them later where I ended up going to Plymouth, which was like four hours from Oxford, which is where I lived, just to do photo shoots with my friends. And these were like new friends that I'd met. Other friends, Susie and Natalie, dressed as Mary and Pippin and came to visit us. And we just walked around Oxford dressed as hobbits and it was so much fun. Recently, when I broke my foot, I ended up going to a con as Professor Xavier and my friend Jen, Blue Jay Cosplay, pushed me around in a wheelchair and went as Nightcrawler. And that was amazing. Just the fact that, for one, I actually got to go to the con when I couldn't walk because I was on crutches still. And for two, like that we, tied into characters that we already had. And three, it's X-Men and X-Men is amazing. And it was just, it completed the Charles Xavier look. I did do a gender rent version of Charles that time too. And then of course, uh, Animazement last year, I met Unison Raid, that was really cool. I actually didn't join them until HoshiCon. I got in because I'm, I met Robin, who is gray, and we just became friends. And I was kind of like, hey, you're in a fairy tale group. I like fairy tale. And he was like, come join us, we're great, we're really open. And they needed a rogue and I liked rogue and I met everyone and we all clicked and I just somehow came a part of their group at HoshiCon. I don't think I'd ever been to a con where I was just welcomed into a group so much. Um, when I went in, again, the only person that I knew was Robin, but by the end of the day, I was really good friends with a lot of them. I'm trying to think of like good unison raid stories, but really, like half the time I spend with those people, it's hilarious and we do like crazy things. Like you'll just be standing there and someone will come running at you with a fake sword and be like, we're gonna fight. And I'm like, okay, okay. Justin has this like Lucy body pillow and he left it at a table and walked away to go get something. And some guy actually came by and asked us if he could buy it and we should have sold it, but we didn't. Um, and when we got back, we, we told Dustin about it and he was like, you guys should have said it was $500 because I'd take it for $500. Dustin is just hilarious, especially as John from Ruby. Like he would find Weisses and then run up to them and start singing and it was, it was hilarious. And then at Yamakon, Talia, who is staying, we were staying at the same house and that night, it was like really late at night and we were changing and everything and she had these makeup wipes and I, mine were in the car so I asked if I could use one of hers and she was like, yeah. And I guess I picked up the one that she'd already used without noticing it and I, I used it. And she was like, Morgan, 
why would you use my used makeup wipe? Like, I don't, I don't even know how she found out that this happened in hindsight. Like, it doesn't even really make sense, but it was, it was just really funny. And I accidentally drank her water. One time I accidentally used her plate at Thanksgiving. Like, it was, it's just terrible. Apparently I have a problem and then I take other people's things. But I'm like, we're stinging rogue. We have the same things, right? No, it doesn't. It doesn't work that way. I had so much fun cosplaying Noragami the two times that I did at Yamakon and is it Ichiban? I think so. For some reason, people just get really into character. I had my little shine and people actually started giving us like quarters or nickels, probably mostly nickels. And then got like really into being Yukine and would just go around and like be like, give us money so I don't have to sleep in a trash can. And you know, as Yato, I can just be crazy and stuff. So of course, um, my Hiore, Lexi, loves to pretend that she's forgotten who I am. So she'll just be sitting at the table and like pretend that I'm not there. But she'll be like, I'm supposed to go to this theme park with someone, but I can't remember who it was. Who was it? And I'm like, me, me, me. And just like waving around being crazy as Yato. And uh, everyone at the table will play along and be like, do you, do you hear something? But uh, that's pretty much all I can think about today. So, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. If you go to conventions, let me know in the comments below what your favorite, funniest, or most exciting moment from conventions is. I hope to see you next time.